Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Kevin Tech here, bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Um, so today, I want to talk about um, my journey and my journey in cybersecurity. And how has it been for me the last couple two years in cybersecurity? So um, obviously, if you're new to my channel, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. So um, for me, my journey in cybersecurity, you guys, don't, you guys, don't, like some people watch my videos, some people don't. Some people skip some of my videos and don't see like my videos from where I got into like help desk or desktop support and then I transferred over to cybersecurity. So um a lot of people uh think that I just got a job out of nowhere. Like it it was very time consuming um to say the least. So what happened with me is I worked at a financial firm and um I, I I liked my job, but I, I got tired of, of doing basic issues like password reset, setting up new hires, um, setting up uh, computers, laptops, building machines for scratch for imaging, um, working with HR, like like little little things like that. Like I, I, I like I like like the 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 easy stuff, but then it's like, you're not being challenged enough, right? Like the challenge is not there. So that's the reason why I switched over to cybersecurity. So when I uh, wanted to get into cybersecurity, I, I did a lot of research. So I, I, I did I did like blue team room, like red team room. And I'm talking about try hack me. So like, cause I'm not, I'm not the type of person that, you, you know, help uh, hack the box is not, user friendly, like some of the rooms are not user friendly. It's just like, here's the box, do it, figure it out, good luck, right? So like, I'm not that type of person that you give me a box and say, all right, here, you figure it out, right? You figure it out, you know, do the CTF or whatever. The thing is with me, I'm not, I'm, I'm more like beginner hands on. So I uh, wanted to do the blue team. So I ended up doing the blue team room, learn about what, what it's like to be SOC. Um, and then from there, it was like, uh, a journey for me because it's like, do I want to, what do I want to do? So I, I reached out to my network and I talked to a couple of veteran buddies that I'm friends with. And he gave me like a roadmap. Like, do I want to do identity access management? Do I want to do red team pen testing? Do I want to do blue team, be a SOC analyst? And um, I wanted to get my, my, my hands dirty. So I was like, all right, let me look at the room. So I did all the rooms and then I remember that this opportunity came out of nowhere where uh, they had conference events. So I literally just went to one of the conference events. Uh, AWS Summit is the one that I went to. And, and I remember that and it was freaking cool because like I got to I got to network. I got to meet people. I got to talk to people that that are like different vendors and different booths. So like when you go to these conference events, they have like these booths, these vendors. You get to talk to a lot of people. You get to build your network. So. I remember uh, 701 being there and um, I just, I was talking to them and they had like some interesting stuff that they do with the product. And I was looking at, I was looking at their stuff and I remember I spoke to uh, a, an SD, like a sales engineer and he was just demoing the product, product and just showing me the product. And I'm like, this, this is kind of cool. Like, I didn't know you could do that with this product. And then they, I remember in that same event, I think I saw CrowdStrike, CrowdStrike was there too. And they had some cool tools as well. And then I saw, um, uh, what's the other company called? Um, well, obviously AWS, but I saw um, Salesforce and Salesforce was there too. And they were showing their product too. And I'm like, this is freaking cool as well. And they, I didn't know they had a ticketing system and they had a ticketing system. And um, in the, from selling the one is the, the interesting part for me was I, I, I actually built a relationship with the guy that works there. And I remember I was hanging out with him and I remember that's what really like made me stand out from getting a job from all the other candidates that applied for a job for seven to one. And I, I wanted to, I, I wanted to get a job. So I ended up applying for a job. I put him as a reference and then I got a job after that. And that's how I got my first cybersecurity job was literally through that, through the power of networking. And uh, that's how I got my first job. And unfortunately I, I, I was, I was um, affected um, by layoffs and then I couldn't, I needed to get a different job. So I ended up working for an MSP company. And from there I got into a, a SOC analyst role, which is really cool. And I, ha I had the, I had like 
like the opportunity to learn a lot, but also it was like very like scary because I don't want to mess, I don't want to lose or mess up our audit. So I was put in a very uncomfortable situation, which is like when you're put in an uncomfortable situation, you're like, man, I'll, if I mess this up, I mess this up, I'm in trouble, right? And then I'm going to get in trouble. And then my manager's also going to get in trouble. But lucky for me, I had a great manager, a great team, uh, great engineers. Um, just like my last, just like 701, a lot of great people, awesome people. Um, and we got our audit done. And my manager was literally there, like step from 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 day one to like, I guess the last day from from day one. Literally, he's like, okay, this is how we do this audit. This is how it's done. I'll show you how to do it. And these are the people you need to reach out to if you're trying to get a sample for this or a sample for that. So the owners were there. They did our audit. Certain things were missing. And I reached out to the engineers and they gave me the things that we were missing. And at the end of the day, it worked out. And we got super lucky. And in a way that I had all the pop, all the paperwork, all the documentation. It was not like, oh, we're missing this. And I had to set it up from scratch. No, everything was there. It's just we needed the documentation and evidence for it. We had it. So um, because of that, we passed our SOC 2 audit. And then because of that, uh, it was my first time using um, Microsoft Sentinels. I never used that in my life. And I, I had uh, exposure to that. I had exposure to Defender for XDR. I had exposure to create social engineering uh, campaigns and phishing emails and making sure people don't click on emails. And I, I just slap you in the hand if you you know click on the email and I send you one of those trainings, right? It's like, click here to do training because you clicked on the email. You just got fish, right? So that was super fun. Um and then in that job, uh, it was just an update for me from all my jobs in cyber. That job, I, I, again, I was affected with 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 um, layoffs, which is unfortunate, but it happens. You know, sometimes it happens. It is what it is, right? You really can't do much. You can't control that. So um, now in my now I'm a SOC analyst, senior SOC analyst, or SOC two, SOC SOC level two analyst, and basically I work with ThreadLocker, CrowdStrike work with customers, work, work with end users. Uh, I had like like a little bit of help desk. Like I had to call a customer, but it's not really help desk. It's more like, oh, can you allow this for me, Kevin? I'm like, sure, but why do you need it? And then it's like, I need it because of this. Well, I want to allow it, but I need my manager to approve it and then I could allow it. Does that make sense with you? Yes, Kevin, that makes sense. Okay, good. So that's, you know, yeah, you like like a little bit like a little bit of like not not like you know not like disagreements or arguments more like you know I love to do that for you I love to allow it but I need my manager to approve that because I can't just go in thread locker and approve everything you know you can't do that it's just policies and procedures right I'm not gonna just go in there and do whatever the hell I want and be like yeah I allow this I allow this I allow this and you can do whatever you want that's not that's not how it works right so. Let's explain that to the customers, people that we work with, and you know, just build your policies around what you have set up in your environment. Um, and yeah, and that's it. And the the um, I guess for me in security, like um, they always say, the more you know, the less you know. Like the more you've been in IT, the less you know in IT. You're never gonna know everything, and you, and that is the reality of jobs, and that's the reality of working IT and cybersecurity. You're never gonna know everything. So that is my update with me in cyber. And, and um, if I had to do it all over again, I think I could do it in a shorter period of time from being in help desk and into cyber. I think I could do it a way shorter period of time, maybe go into cybersecurity in two, three years from working help desk or system admin, way shorter than what I'm doing the way I've done it now. But um, I would not trade any of the experience I have being in help desk because that that experience helps you learn so much that it like makes you well rounded to the point that when you actually go into a cyber job, you're like, oh, okay, I know what Active Directory is. Oh, I know what that is. Oh, I know what a network is. Oh, I know what operating system is. Oh, I could read the hashes on this file. Oh, I know look at logs and event viewer. So it's like that has helped me a lot. So I definitely will not say, oh, help desk is bad, blah, blah, blah. You know, so yeah, so definitely is like. I know a lot of people don't like help. It's like I always say, it's not. I don't recommend it to everyone. I only recommend it to people that are good with customer service and good with dealing with people. It's not for everyone. It's not everyone's cup of tea, right? So obviously, you know, you could always go to different avenues of IT. But I love it. I love help. And and the, the, my job right now in SOC, I love my SOC job. So 
because I do work with customers still. I work more with like VPs, executives, and people in the company that is internal. And I haven't, I have a really great team and a great manager. You know, it's just the guy, people that I work with, they are they're all willing to help. It's like there's no like, oh, we're not gonna help you. Like everyone helps each other. So, and that's the important thing of having a, um, the important things of getting a job in IT versus just getting a job. I'm sure if you understand what I'm saying. Basically, it's like you get a job and you're like, man, my team sucks, man, my manager sucks, man, they suck, that sucks, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, we don't want that, right? I don't want that from you. I want you to find a great manager, a great team, a great environment because, you know, and IT is like, you could have, you get a bad, you get a bad vibe in IT and you get that first job and the job sucks and you're like, why the hell I switch over to IT if it's going to suck like this, right? So like, I'm always going to recommend you do research, you know, talk to the, talk to the hiring manager, interview them, like they're interviewing you, all those things are very important. So that's it for me. That is my update in cybersecurity, man. I have some stuff that I want to do myself for training, but I'm going to, we're going to wait a little bit before I do that because I have things going on behind the scenes um, that I'm excited about. So um, that's it for me. That's my update. That's my spiel for cybersecurity, my updates for the last couple, two years, three years in cybersecurity. Like I tell everyone, like if you you could definitely get a job being in cyber coming from help desk or desktop support, it's doable. Just gotta have the right search, the right hands on training, the right resume. I literally worked with someone like literally the month of um May, and yeah, they 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 started their job in cybersecurity literally like this month, and they love their job. And I he he started out in desktop support just like me, and I worked with him. So that's why like having the right mentor, having the right coach is important too. And you know they they know they know what to do. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and hope, hopefully this video helps you out. Maybe you're someone that has done help desk and you're trying to go into something else. Or maybe you're stuck in help desk and you're trying to break out of it. So hopefully this video helps you out. With that being said, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care.